did lead 12 0 against the Roosters before capitulating and losing by about 40. So, can't get too excited just yet, Rays fans. Will James says, Why do you time out people? Because some people are knobs, mate. That's why. James McAlevey says, It's very annoying as an English rugby fan because I can see the massive difference in quality between the NRL and Super League, and not all games are broadcasted over here. I know it's um, obviously a big difference, but the fact of the matter is, and this isn't me insulting the Super League. But the fact of the matter is, is that we are complaining about how shit our league is right now. Like, we're all complaining about how poor our league is right now. And yet, majority of our teams would probably still win. I would, if you can debate that, debate it. I'm, I'm happy for you too. But it, it, it does suck. Raiders, oh, he converts it too off the post inside. Brilliant kick. So, it will be 14-6 here to the Raiders at half time. Melbourne says the Bulldogs will win the Super League. I don't know. That would be... I disagree. Oh, you know, they have the ability to. That's the thing. That's the crazy thing. They have the ability to still go head-to-head with a lot of the bigger teams. James McAlevey says, we only have St. Helens, Wigan, and Leeds who are half-decent. Aren't Warrington pretty good too? I I thought Warrington were pretty good, weren't they? I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I know everything about the Super League. I know a a decent deal about it. I watch it from time to time, highlights-wise, because I'm too busy watching my cubbies in the baseball early times in the morning or Man City or or Champions League or Euros and stuff like that. So I don't really have the time to watch the Super League, but I do keep up to date with it. But Warrington is still pretty good, aren't they? Reece Summers says the Warriors were robbed. Why? The Knights won that game fair and square. Why? James McAlevey says English rugby is going down the pan now, unfortunately, because the RFL have even started talking... Uh, taking academies off of teams, which cuts the amount of players being produced, which just makes the quality level bad. Um, yeah, that's sad, man. That's sad because thank you very much, Creek Craft, for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, guys, join Creek Craft and join the same thing. But look, it's sad because England, they're okay. Like, they're. This is why I'm not threatened by England in this Rugby League World Cup. Yes, they're the home team, but I'm not threatened by England in this Rugby League World Cup because they're. I've noticed the competition went down and I've, I've significantly noticed it ever since Toronto was canned. Um,. I think they were still pretty decent up until 2019. But when that Toronto Wolfpack situation happened, I really felt like that was the, the, the biggest part of that league going down the shitter. James McAlevey says, I don't think Toronto, in my opinion, was the downfall. I just think that most good English players over here go over to Australia to play because it's so much better. Widdop, Graham, Bateman, and Whitehead. Yes, but we don't want the backs. Sorry to say this, we don't want English backs. Why? Because they never translate. They never do well. And Sam Tompkins was unbelievable for you guys. Went to the Warriors. Dog shit. Sorry, not going to... I shouldn't say dog shit because I don't like to pick apart players in regards to that. But not good. He wasn't good. You know, oh, don't get me started on Titans. Callum Watkins. He was a good bloke. I met him. He's a nice guy. Nice guy. Not good for the Titans. Um, who is the other guy? Uh, Dan Sargenson. Oh, God, bro. That guy was just a headbutt my face kind of bloke. Of course, there's so much shovels at the Titans, that Dan Sargon's a bloke. Daniel Bates says, we haven't even got a decent enforcer for England Great Britain in the forwards. Now closest is maybe Wainsley, who could maybe play NRL. There's Thompson too, but I don't know. I'd say Thompson is your enforcer, but in the same sense, yeah, I know it's not the most exciting of enforcers in the game. Um, he's good for the Dogs, but in the same sense, I think he's a little bit overrated for the Dogs. I think he's a little bit overrated um, at the Dogs. I'd like to see a lot more from him. I think he has a good, good ability, but yeah. McAlevey says, you were speaking the truth, mate. Honestly, I agree with you 100%. Well, you know, I would love to see England do better. I want to see other countries improve their domestic leagues so that you guys can compete with us on an international level. You know, as an Australian, I can tell you, especially from the streams, and you'll see this if you guys are here for the Rugby League World Cup streams at the end of this year, you will see in the chat, most Australians don't get behind Australia. Like, yes, I'm Australian. I want Australia to win, but I would prefer to see Fiji win. You know, Fiji is kind of my team outside of Australia because Australia is too good. So you kind of want something different. But then it does kind of hurt when Australia loses. But there's never going to be a good enough team to compete with Australia unless the internet, the domestic competitions are better on on in different places. You know, England, for example, Super League needs to be better. I don't care if any English fans want to come out me here and say you're an idiot, stop insulting the Super League. It's the truth. You know, England isn't good enough in the Super League, and that's what you see every single year. You, know, you, you play us in one preseason game. It's a preseason game for us. Our first game of the season, they've just come back from an off season. It's halfway through your body year. And, you know, usually there's teams from Australia wins and they don't give a shit because it's a glorified preseason game. England, actually, the teams give a shit about winning that game, right? Then you go over to America. They have nothing. Their tournaments right now, firstly, the NARL, that they had so much hype, down the shitter. Like, that's not even happening right now, I don't believe. I don't think that's even happening this year. Um, their other tournament, no one cares about. You know, there is no professional tournament that can compete with the NRL. And until that happens, there will not be another international team that can realistically compete. The only reason the, the New Zealand team always competes is because half, all their players are inside. 
the rugby league, in, inside the NRL with the Warriors and also with all the Australian teams. So that's the only reason because New Zealand basically utilizes our tournament. Um, so that's the reason why you'll never really see another team consistently compete with Australia unless they're in the South Pacific area where all their players are playing for Australia. Personally, my opinion. I always say personally, guys, because I don't want you to think that I'm saying this and thinking that I'm speaking fact. This is all opinion. This is all my opinion. You know, when I say that Galveston's not a top-notch fullback, that's my opinion. If you want to have a different opinion, go for it. But this is just my opinion. <laughs>